we're ready-ish. As soon as we get some levels, get everybody in their place, get 17 people singing the same song, we're going to be ready. On the first day of April, I ne'er will forget The Irish town boys at Radigan's met They filled up their bottles and swore solemnly That that very day they would go on a spree And sing Paul the Dolady, right Paul the Dolady Sing Paul the Dolady, right Paul the Dolady Right now we're in a cemetery in Irish town where you can see the tombstones of many of the people in this song. For example, over here, Michael O'Connor, mentioned as Mickey Connors in the song, and beyond that, Nelson Berto, the Berto gravestone. There was Holland and Blutcher and Williams and Breen and one McInerney that drives the great team. There was Isaac, Letty, Patty and Joe and one Mickey Connors that lived down below. And that's where he lived, down below. It's very rare that you know who writes a folk song, but in the case of Irish Town Crew, we know that Jim McCoy and Holland Doherty, who are from the area, wrote it together. And by including all the names of the local folks, I think it gives excitement for those around having them, their names mentioned and they'll want to sing it but also it memorializes these folks and hopefully gives them just a touch of immortality. The Irish Town Crew was written in 1880, at a time following the potato famines when hundreds of thousands of Irish immigrants came to this country and settled. Sometimes there were tanneries, sometimes sawmills, but there was work for them. And they settled here. There used to be a pub, Radigan's, the song mentions, and to this day there stands the church and a schoolhouse. The history of this song is, it's all about the, the, the loggers in the, in the North Country and what they did most of the time after they got paid. And most of the time after they got paid, they went to the bars and got drunk. They filled up themselves on Radigan's beer And straight for the corner they quickly did steer Resolved before morning they'd finish their spree And spend a few moments with young Tommy and me And sing Paul the Doll Daddy, right Paul the Doll Daddy Sing Paul the Doll Daddy, right Paul the Doll Daddy I think one of the things that adding instrumentation to these songs does is it, it it makes them much more palatable to the modern ear. We're not used to hearing people sing old folk songs unaccompanied, which is exactly how they were sung back when Marjorie Porter was recording these people. Sing, sing, call the dog, sing, call the dog. 